He's such a good helper. Oh my god, I want to start this friend film. And we have a little update on Stella. And her hair's falling out. Cause we got all that time in the world. For better or worse, we should stay together. So let's stay young and in love. We should focus on us forever. Yeah, baby, if you are feeling like I do. My dad was so nice enough to send me this mattress because of my back issues. It comes in a box, it's called Dream Cloud, and we are just taking it out because we couldn't get it up the stairs. Well, I couldn't, so we had to ask a friend today to bring it up the stairs. It has to lay out for 24 hours, so we're gonna put it right here, and then we're gonna test it out. Give you a real review. If you're having back issues or you're interested in a Dream Cloud, we'll let you know. Crazy that a king-size mattress fit in that box. It's pretty heavy, huh? I could not bring this upstairs by myself. No, he couldn't. And I couldn't really help him. I wasn't strong enough. Anyway, we're excited and we'll let you know how it goes. You hear that? You hear that, guys? Air. <laughs> oh, you hear that? That's quite a bit of air. Vacuum sealed, so this should be perfect to sleep on in 24 hours. Look at that, can you guys tell? It's just expanding. Perfect. Just open right up. Is that the bottom? Yeah, this is the bottom. Oh yeah, let's flip it. There we go, <laughs> we flipped it. So this is the top, and it has that nice pillow top right there. And it'll inflate even more in the next 24 hours. So, test it out though. Looks soft. It actually is soft. Yeah, I was worried it wouldn't be. It's supposed to really help, especially if you're a side sleeper. All right guys, so this is our old mattress. Super nice, perfect condition, very comfy pillow top. And this is the new mattress, so pretty comparable in size. Marcos is doing all the rolling sleeping positions. We're gonna sleep on this tonight and let you know how it is. So it's time to get it on the bed. All right, fits good. Now it's just time to make the bed. <laughs> I should test it. I'm the one with the back issues, but how's it feel? It feels super soft. Hey guys, and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday here for us, and it's just a normal everyday Tuesday. So we're just gonna take you along with us for whatever we do. Kids are all in school right now. Hallie has a break. She's playing with Stella, but we did sleep on the mattress last night, guys and it was kind of amazing, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna test it out for a few more days, see if we still love it, but I am shocked how much I love it. Like, I slept just as good, I love a soft mattress. Anyway, this is not sponsored by any means, but if you have back problems, or even if you don't have back problems, and you just need a new mattress or a better mattress, Dream Cloud, you can order it right online. I would highly recommend it. And it comes in a box like you saw and it inflates and everything. So special thanks to my dad for sending that to me. Hopefully it's just gonna help my back from here on out. Anyway, there's the update on the mattress. What are we doing? We're playing kitchen. Playing kitchen. And Stella, are you dressed up as Elsa? The baby's off the juice. Oh, baby, is she drinking the juice? Mm -hmm. That's so nice of you to play with her, Hallie. Tally has class in about five minutes. And every time I have to go to class, she's like, no, don't go class. Yeah. Stay yeah, she loves to play with you. So, you guys, get a good look at this loft because, so today is Tuesday, but on Friday we have our contractor coming. He's gonna build all these, kind of like downstairs or entertainment center. He's gonna build a bunch of cabinets with the top so that all of these toys can be hidden. And it's gonna be the best thing ever. So, we'll show you that before and after for sure. What do you have? Ice cream. Ice cream, yummy. 
hope Libby is sitting in class and not playing around. You in class? Yes. Okay. What are you guys saying right now? Um, this word. Run. Oh, you said a sentence with run? Yeah. Good job. In class? Almost uh, done. All right. So this is my classic laundry. I have laundry today. So I just do all the loads in this narrow little hallway. But it's time to switch the laundry. a little trick that one of my friends recently told me we were talking about different laundry detergents you know your mom when you're talking about that with friends and which one we like the best and how we were saying liquid soap runs on the side of the cup and then you put it in a cupboard and it gets all over so she's like oh I just throw my cup in so new tip for me if anyone didn't know out there that are moms you can throw your plastic cup inside so that the liquid doesn't go all over once it's like poured in and seeped down the sides anyway Great little tip and then it just washes the cup and then you just take it out after it's all done. Got a mess all over the kitchen. Ty's on a break from school and he's watching our last vlog where we went to the Great Wolf Lodge. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Kind of weird to hear my voice in the background as I'm making a new vlog, but if you guys haven't checked out that vlog, go check it out. We went to the Great Wolf Lodge. We surprised the kids. 89,000 square feet indoor water park. And we're going tomorrow morning. What? What? Are we skipping school? We're skipping school! <laughs> it was super fun. We just got back, so that's why I'm doing all this laundry. But I also have another thing to show you guys. Look at all of these rug options. I think I have five rugs here. They all came today. So we've got this room left to kind of complete the downstairs. As you can see, I've got tons of pillow options, stuff to still hang on the wall. So I know that Marcus has a short day today, so I'm hoping that he can come home. We can lay out all the rugs, show you guys, help, have you guys help us out. Give us your opinions because when we asked you guys about which clock to do, black clock, number one, that looks good too. Um, that was super helpful, which we did put up the black one right there, so it looks really good on that wall. But um, kind of funny story, we're not keeping that one. We found another black one that's not quite as big. We noticed that when you're over here, I can't see what time it is and I'm always in the kitchen. And then unless you're sitting on one of these two seats, you really can't see what time it is because there's so much iron going on. And these big hand and small hand are really skinny. So we just don't love it. We love the bigness of it. We love the color contrast and everything. So we actually found another black clock that's pretty big, should be here in about a month. So they said we could keep that one on the wall until the other one comes. So we'll show you guys that when it comes. But thank you so much for everyone commenting below, helping us decide between the two clocks. We are glad we went with the black and now we're just excited to get a different one that you can tell the time a little bit better. So today we'll be laying out the rug, showing you the options. Um, my couch is supposed to come this week, but last I heard they said beginning of next week. So hopefully that's here in the next few days and we could kind of show you guys the different options. And then the downstairs will be complete almost. So we've still got a lot of rooms to start decorating. Nothing is on the walls except for a picture here and there. We've still got a lot to do. And then once it's all done, we will show you guys a final full house reveal. Once it's all decorated, it'll probably be a month or two just cause takes some time. So anyway, looking forward to that. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see which rugs that we choose and if you're excited to help us out. All right, I got my little helper. <laughs> you're such a good helper. Okay, two loads are clean right here. All right, you ready to help me put it in? Oh, thank you. Yes, Stella's still in her Yay, PJs. You did it. Good job, come on. Okay, I did it. You wanna help me put these in? This yeah, pick them up. Put them in. Good job. Yeah, All right, looks like Marcos is home. Brought me some lunch that I've been trying to eat for, what, 30 minutes? 
Yeah, I finished with mine. And you haven't, even <laughs> I haven't even started. I'm trying to get through my salad. But we've got Libby here still in her PJs. Huh? I'm not gonna wash those from them. My pretty lips are still. <laughs> yeah, Libby's had some dry lips. You can still see right here. And they're getting better, huh? Uh-huh. Okay, so we're working on all of the papers in her packet. This is her packet, and she didn't do the papers, her teacher said in her last class, I know, so. because I couldn't find it. Now I'm doing them with her, instead of eating my lunch. So she did good on her letters. Now we've gotta write some sentences, okay? okay? Meanwhile, Marcos is going to go put Stella down. Since he's home, I'm putting him to work. And then he's gotta run back to work, right? Yeah, just gotta go out for a bit. <clears throat> and then when he comes back, we're doing the rugs. And we'll show you guys some of the pillow options we have too. Sounds good. So, excited? Oh yeah. Rug. All right. Uh, let's go find Stella. Rug. Okay guys, so Marcus is gonna go put Stella down for a nap. And we have a little update on Stella. Thanks to Diane underscore Elizabeth 87, you have been a lifesaver. She told me about these scratch sleeves. And after we posted the video, many of you told about the scratch sleeves as well. But she told me first, she messaged me on Instagram. So thank you so much, Diane. They have been working great for Stella. So Marco's gonna go show you guys, show um, what we've been doing with Stella lately that's really helping, but now she's pulling her hair during the day. She'll randomly grab her Mickey and her blanket, she'll suck her thumb, and just start pulling this hair right here. So the scratch sleeves are really great for nap time, but we're still trying to figure out during the day, so. She used to pull, you know, suck her thumb, and at the same time grab the hair on this side of the head. Mm -hmm. Now that that's all gone, mm -hmm. she's doing it over here now, bringing it over while she sucks her thumb and like does the hairball, pulls it out and yeah. hairballs it. So I think I'm gonna end up cutting her hair like a little, I don't know. A line? Uh, yeah, I just, I mean. to do it because she keeps on doing it. Yep, she keeps on doing it. So I guess I need to get on that. So maybe we'll do that today. I don't know. But for now, I gotta finish Yay! Libby's stuff. There she is. <laughs> what do you got? They're both still in PJs, but they took baths last night. They're at least clean, but I just have been so busy today. She's always got her Mickey. Oh yeah, get your other Mickey. <laughs> um, thank you. Yep, she's always got her Mickeys. Okay, it's time to go night night. Where's Mimi go? I don't know, we gotta find Minnie. This one's Ty's Mickey. Yeah. No, that's mine. <laughs> she thinks it's hers, but no, that is hers. Like... I bought her one. All right, where's your sleeves? There they are. No, They're just right here on the bed. These are the sleeves we put on. Now we've done both ways. We've put oh, these really? sleeves on under her clothes, and we put them on over her clothes. It works better when they're under her clothes, though we've seen, because she can take them off herself easily if we put them over her clothes. So I'm gonna put that on right now. But basically, these are. It's like a long sleeve shirt but it's not a shirt it's just the sleeve part and at the very end where the hands go they're silky smooth scratch you know it prevents them from scratching and it prevents her from actually grabbing her hair and pulling it you want to put this on I'm you're coloring beautiful Beautiful me okay now she's got them on as you can see the sleeves are covered obviously because their pjs are on and then these are the sleeves <gasps> okay let's see your hand can i see your hand See you in a couple hours, an hour and a half maybe. Where's your Mickey? Thank you. Oh, okay, all right. Sleep good. Oh, it's a bite. All right, you guys, fast forward a couple hours. We are at dinner right now. Haven't set out the rugs yet, been doing laundry, vlogs, all the things. Anyway, it's a breakfast for dinner kind of a night, but um, the girls are just finishing up their showers, but looks good. I got some sausage cooking. Stella's chowing down, is it good? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it's the next day and Marcos and I <laughs> laid out all the rug options and Stella is rolling them up by herself, which is pretty impressive, Stella. I like this one that she's rolling up, but now you can yeah, see this yeah. one better. So comment below which one you like the best. This one, number one, that Stella's unrolling. Okay, all done. Come here, honey. Good job. Anyway guys, it's the next day. We laid these all out and then we decided, you know what, you'll see it a lot better with the natural lighting from the windows. So I'm gonna show you, there are five rugs. I'm gonna show you each one. I want you guys to comment below on which rug you like the best. Now, the couch is coming on Tuesday. 
so I might have to show you in the next vlog. We'll have to see. But what you got there? The apple. You want me to cut it for you? Eat it. Who's on your shirt? Who's on your shirt? Stop it. Who's on your shirt? <laughs> Let me see. I'm Mimi. Who is it? That's Mimi. That's Minnie. Mm-hmm. She's gonna roll this right back up. I promise she wears regular clothes, but today she didn't want to take off Minnie. Um, those are our shirts from our last year Disney trip that we went on. Yep, and um, she wanted to wear that today, so I'm like, whatever. She baths at night, she's clean. We're not going anywhere today. I'm actually just bumming in sweat, so. <laughs> anyway, time to show you those rugs. Here you go. You're welcome. Looks like Livy got into the bows and put a pink bow on top of Stella's head. <laughs> and her hair's falling out. I did do her hair this morning though. All right, so this is rug number one, which I think is my favorite. It just adds a little bit of color to the room. It's beautiful. The couch is a creamy white and it's like a half circle couch. It's really cool. So I think this still keeps the room pretty neutral, but also adds a little bit of pop of color. So hopefully in the next vlog, we'll be able to show you guys the couch on all of our favorite rugs. So I'll just pull them up. So this is rug number two. It's cream and black with fun different designs. This is rug number three, which is really pretty and neutral. It match this room good. It has little pieces of gold all in it, which really help to accent the gold mirror and the gold decor I have randomly here. So that is rug number three. All right, rug number four. This is my second favorite. I really like this one. It's really soft. Ties in the black accents that we have in the room, but also shows the cream, the whites, the beige, the browns. So this one could be super fun as well. And last but not least is, I know it'd be Ty's favorite, and it's all flat, but it's a super soft shag rug. Do you like it? It's like a pretty blush pink, and again, the couch is white, but I don't think we're gonna keep this one. But comment below, I just think it's too fluffy, and I just don't think I want a pink rug in my front room. But it is soft, a little bit bougie, but it's super fun. I love the color blush, so I think I was a little blush happy when we got this, but. Anyway, so there are the five rugs. So comment below, we wanna hear from you guys, which one do you like the best and you think would fit like the, the front room? Like if you're regular on our vlog, you've seen kind of all the updates like of like the front room and kind of the look that we have. It's kind of more of a formal dining sitting room, whereas that room in there is a lot more casual. So we did wanna go a little bit like nicer. Let's narrow it down. So comment below, we wanna hear from you guys. All right, you guys, the cupboards are almost complete, 90%, and I am so excited. So we've got this big mess right here. We're starting to put everything in here. Let me show you. So there's gonna be a wood piece on top, just like downstairs, um, that he's gonna do on Monday, but look at, look at how deep these cupboards are. We'll show you right over here. Yeah, Normally, these yeah. big type of toys like don't fit anywhere, but they fit in here, and it's gonna be awesome. So we are gonna put everything in here and then we'll show you the final reveal. All right guys, this is where we're at. We might move some more stuff around, but there's so much more space right here. Hallie's doing cartwheels and everything. So we've got most of the toys in here. Feeling good about that. a little hot we have the kitchen up there so I might move the kitchen here put the clock here Marcos isn't here to kind of help me so at least everything's out of the way now um, you saw the before here's the after plus that wood piece on top so we could stack a few things on top in the corners right here if we needed to obviously this stack right here is like our router and everything that's gonna go in the corner right there so it looks good though we're happy with it getting rid of a few things. Um, these are extra shelves that we took out. I'm gonna sell this bookshelf thing. Um, we got rid of this bin because we no longer need it. Plus, Stella drew all over it with marker.
Now you have room for the tunnel, huh? Yeah. I don't think I told you guys, but this ugly box is actually a white table. So the kids can play Legos on, card games, whatever they want to do, color, whatever. So that'll look nice as well.